हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज बबल बेबी सिंड्रोम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली अ टू मंथ ओल्ड गर्ल फ्रॉम कर्नाटका बिकेम वन ऑफ द यंगेस्ट पेशेंट्स टू रिसीव बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट द बेबी वॉज सफरिंग फ्रॉम सीवियर कंबाइंड इम्यूनो डेफिशियंसी डिजीज दैट इज एस सी आई डी फेमसली कॉल्ड एज बबल बेबी सिंड्रोम नॉ लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट इज बबल बेबी सिंड्रोम और एस सी आई टी बबल बेबी सिंड्रोम इज अ वेरी रेयर जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर अफेक्टिंग मेनली चिल्ड्रन बबल बेबी सिंड्रोम और बबल बॉय डिजीज वॉज मेड फेमस बाय द नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स हॉलीवुड मूवी द बॉय इन द प्लास्टिक बबल एसेंशियली चिल्ड्रन विद बबल बेबी सिंड्रोम लैक द एबिलिटी टू प्रोड्यूस एन इम्यून सिस्टम अ चाइल्ड विद बबल बेबी सिंड्रोम कांट प्रोड्यूस टी सेल्स दैट इज वाइट ब्लड सेल्स दैट आइडेंटिफाई एंड अटैक परसीव्ड इन वेडर्स doesn't have working b cells because there are no t cells for them to work with and has virtually no immune system without a functioning immune system a child with bubble baby syndrome has no way of warding off infections he or she will be at constant risk for pneumonia chronic diarrhea thrush infections of the mouth and skin and many other types of infection including severe viral infections and invasive bacterial or fungal infections now let's understand what causes scit there are more than 15 recognized kinds of scits all types of scids are genetic meaning they are caused by an error or mutation in the child's genes Even though SCID is a genetic condition, having one child with SCID does not necessarily mean other family members including siblings are going to develop the disease. Now moving on to diagnosis. Diagnosis is usually based on a complete medical history and physical examination of the child. In addition, multiple blood tests including a complete blood cell count may be required to help confirm the diagnosis newborn screening also plays an important role in detecting bubble baby syndrome before symptoms emerge having a screening performed is especially important because many infants with bubble baby syndrome show no signs until they actually develop an infection now lastly moving on to treatment Some possible treatments for bubble baby syndrome include the following: guarding against infection, antibody infusions, stem cell that is bone marrow transplants, and SCID X1 gene therapy. Now it's time for the practice question. With reference to severe combined immunodeficiency also known as bubble baby syndrome, consider the following statements. One a child with SCID has abundance of T cells. Two a child with SCID does not have B cells. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. Then the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.